Alright fellas, welcome back. Now, if you haven't seen the previous video, we had a package from Australia. And in that package were coconut shy PAs from New Zealand and Australia, from um, Stas Brewing, uh, Quartz Brewing, uh, Floor Sweepers, Union and Byron Homebrew. So there's four coconut shy PAs to get through. They're in the fridge, chilling and um, not only did he send them in the box, but he also also sent two other beers, his Black Hole um, Stout McKellar clone and this, which is a white stout. 7%, I think he did a, uh, I think he said he, he put some cacao nibs in vodka and cold steeped coffee in it. I mean, it just looks like a, it just looks like a golden, it looks like a gold nail, really, just like a, a gold nail. So we're going to get it cracked open in a glass and taste this now because I want my mind to be truly famboozled. So let's get it cracked open into a glass. See what we think. Cheers! Small hiss. A very small hiss. White Stout, 7%. Stas Brewing, all the way from Australia. Let's get it poured out and see what we've got. Well, will you look at that? Yeah, she's pale. She's like a, what the hell's that floating around in there? Golden Amber. It's formed a nice white head. Well, let's get in for a nose on this. Wiped out. Cheers. <laughs> it does smell like a stout. My goodness me. Getting roast and getting coffee. It's definitely there and it definitely smells stoutish. There's also like a, a sweeter aroma coming off of it as well. Whether it's this coming out of this bottle, Coca Cola bottle. Mmm. <laughs> It has an aroma as well um, of a bit of shandy. Go for a taste, buddy. Cheers. It's messing with my head. That's a real. Uh, that's a real mess you upper. Tastes like a stout, but it doesn't taste full-blown stout, if that makes any sense whatsoever. There are um, plenty of characteristics coming from the stout style uh, roast and coffee. There's a real decent mouthfeel to this, and just a slight hint of an alcohol on the taste, which, I mean, it's 7%. So these little influences that are coming from the stout style are definitely there, but there's it's almost like they're there layered onto a gold nail taste or a, or a pale ale taste and it sort of flips your mind a little bit because um, you look at it and you think it shouldn't have any roast to it and it shouldn't have any coffee to it um, but it does that's really odd really really hard hmm. I mean I think he got it out of an experimental brewing book and as a style I'm uh, unsure about it mainly because it's doing my head in a little bit but um, I think it because it's taking like I said before it's taking the influences of a stout but more of a subdued um, influence so the roast is there, the coffee is there, there's a, a hint of there is a slight hint of chocolate and the coffee is there, the mouthfeel is really really heavy and it's a big boozy number um, but they're all slight, like if you had a big stout they are big powerful flavours 
uh, but obviously because the way it's brewed and made it's pale white so you're getting sort of two two styles clashing together to create this and taking sort of influences from one and the other it's an interesting thing to drink I've enjoyed it but it just messes with your head I don't know what to say about it other than that anyway fellas that's it Stasis, Stasis, that's Stasis, 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 that's Stasis White Stout 7% and it ain't freaking bad, it's just messing with my mind, that's an experience, my goodness, anyway guys that's it, I'm going to finish that off while I do some editing, so as always guys, don't forget to thumb up to draw a row. Don't forget to hit the like and here, subscribe. Click it, you might subscribe. Quick next year, the video got it all. See you next time. I'm out of here. Boop.